hello friends and welcome to my channel in this tutorial i will show you how we can make this super easy cardigan it's easy to make using simple stitches only back loops uh, half double crochet and you'll enjoy it i'm using for this uh, cardigan um, concept cash wool from katya uh, the recommended needle um, they recommend like uh, between 3 and 3.5 I think crochet hook let's see here on the label yeah so 3 3.5 but we would use a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook or size 7 or G plus because with uh, this ribbing and being uh, wool i want it to be a little bit looser so first what we will have to do is to make a swatch to see how many stitches we have in um, 10 centimeters square how many stitches and how many rows this will help us to just size the, the cardigan properly and then when we know how many stitches we have this is the sketch for the back okay so we will start uh, working um, like this from one side and then we will increase making the cross back then decrease to the same number of stitches as we had at first now I started with 85 um, stitches or 86 I don't know if the uh, these are the right measurements that I uh, write down here but I started with 86 stitches um, if you want uh, this cardigan to be longer take into consideration that you will have the brim also uh, and just measure uh, from the uh, armpit until you will want your um, your length to be for all sizes because this cardigan is available up to 5 XL uh, sizes so for all sizes is the same length of the armpit because then the length is uh, adjust because we are doing more rows or stitches adding more stitches with the other parts of the of the cardigan so now I chained um, 86 then chain two more and starting with the fourth chain we will start to do one half double crochet in each stitch and each stitch until you will get to the last two because we will start to increase with this uh, with this row just this first very first row so when we have two stitches left in uh, the next stitch we are doing two half double crochet and then a regular half double crochet in the last stitch we are doing the increases and then the decreases uh, letting the last stitch like a normal stitch because we have to we need to have a nice edge to make the join also uh, starting with the second row because we will work only in the back loops but always first and last stitch work it through both loops okay we don't want not we don't need to have those uh, gaps with only one strand of yarn because we will add the border and it will be easier to work this way now because in this corner in this um, we will have to increase so I made the first stitch like a normal half double crochet and then in the second stitch you will have to do two half double crochet only in the back loop and then continue with one half double crochet in the back loop to the end of the row we will increase on this side also on uh, on each row so at the end and at the beginning of the row you will have to make the increases and we will do this see how i'm doing the last stitch through both loops and then i will chain two and turn 
now the first stitch chain two at the beginning of uh, each row doesn't count this first half double crochet so always work the first stitch now we will continue to work one half double crochet in back loop only until we have two stitches left and in the stitch right before the last one we will do again uh, the increase making two half double crochet only in the back loop in that stitch and then one normal half double crochet in the last stitch and we will continue to repeat until we will have 30 rows in total this is for size s the size that i'm wearing and now we have to continue with some straight rows so we will we stop uh, uh, increasing and now we will continue straight for the cr cross back okay so now starting uh, with this uh, row we will stop increasing at the end of uh, this row and we will work like this 36 rows in total without increasing anymore just keeping the same number of stitches for 36 rows So just half double crochet just in back loop only to have this ribbing effect. At the end of the row here you won't uh, increase anymore. Just work one half double crochet in back loop only. Uh, and the last stitch as the first one work the stitch the half double crochet through both loops okay so here are my last two stitches so I'm making the one before the last one just in the back loop and the last one I'm doing it uh, through both loops and now turn make the first stitch like a normal half double crochet and then work half double crochet just in back loop only and we will do so repeating this for 36 more rounds rows sorry so if you are counting the uh, from the beginning you'll have 30 plus 36 66 rows in total Okay, so I'm fin I finished the uh, first uh, these 36 rows here straight. I put a stitch marker here, a safe pin, just to know where my straight rows uh, start. And now, starting with the next row, we will start to decrease to have the same shape as in the other side. So now I'm doing the first stitch as a normal half double crochet and then i will do the decrease yarn over insert the hook into the next back loop pull out the loop then insert the, the hook in the next available loop and then yarn over and pull the yarn through all loops on your hook so this was the decrease you can do it the uh, other way if you want and then we will continue with one half double crochet in the back loop only to the end of the row and then on the third turning row we will decrease at the end when we have three stitches left we will make a decrease in the next two stitches before the before the last one look here i am i think so i'm making the decrease and then the last stitch is always a regular half double crochet through both loops and we will continue like this the same number of rows as our decreasing at the first so we have we will have 30 rows as well and then basically our back will be done 
let's see one more time how we will make this decrease so this is my uh, half double crochet at the beginning in the very first stitch which is a normal one through both loops and then yarn over insert the hook into the next loop then uh, insert the hook into the next available loop and pull the yarn through all the loops that we have uh, on the hook then continue with one half double crochet in each of the next loops until you'll get to the end of the row okay so here i finished the back so i finished uh, decreasing now so i have uh, two angles then straight the angle straight and angle so now the back is done uh, it used to be to fit in the camera but here is where i uh, made my uh, decrease rows and uh, in the other side they are the increase rows and now we uh, can start making the front panels you can make the front panel starting with the number of rows to the armpit and increase like the first side or you can start with the uh, uh, number with the straight rows and then decrease it's up to you here i have one panel done so it's up to you how to start if you prefer decreasing then start with the number of stitches that uh, uh, you have here on the longer side if you prefer increasing then start with the same number of stitches that you start the back and i started from here making the first straight rows first and then decreasing to the uh, end of the front panel now okay let's just start it and see how the front panel are done it's basically the same uh, thing as the back panel we are not changing too much uh, too many stuff here uh, only depending on how you want to start if you prefer increasing then start with uh, um, the number of chains that we, you need to the armpit if you prefer decreasing then start with the number of chains that you need for um, for the whole back okay so I started with uh, the number of stitches for the whole back, which means if I had 86 and I increased with 30 stitches, now I have 116 stitches. And I will start um, with some rows without decreasing, without increasing or decreasing. And I made eight rows in total like this. So without de uh, increasing, uh, decreasing, oh my god, I'm so lost into these terms of increasing, decreasing. So I made making decreases, started with 160 stitches. I'm doing now 8 rows without making any decrease. And then after 8 rows, I will start decrease at the beginning of the row and then uh on only one side but we will get there and i will show you right away and basically we have to do the same numbers of rows with decreases as we did for the back panel okay okay so now making the straight rows i just made one and i will repeat like this for eight rows again if you want uh, this uh, pattern in uh, bigger sizes you can find the link in the description it will get you to my blog where you can find a pattern for sizes up to 5x large now i finished the eight rows i will chain two First stitch is always like a normal half double crochet and then in the next two available stitches I will do the decrease so yarn over insert the hook insert the hook into the next one pull out the loop through all loops on your hook 
and then continue with one half double crochet to the end of the row and on the turning row we will uh, decrease at the end when you'll have three stitches left in the next two stitches before the last one make the decrease and then one last stitch one last half double crochet and we will repeat so until we will have 30 uh, rows in total or 38 if you want to count the first eight rows at the beginning and this will be basically the front uh, one front panel and you'll have to repeat the pattern for the second one you can work the uh, both panels in the same way because the stitch is looking the same on right or wrong side so we don't need to um, I don't know to make it in the mirror or something so you can just re repeat the same pattern for the second panel with no problems so we will have 38 rows in total 8 at the beginning without making any decrease and then 30 um, rows with decreasing I finished already both front panel and now with a contrasting yarn or you can use the same one but it's looking nicer with a contrasting color I'm not using the same brand yarn I'm using some leftover yarn that I had but has to be the same weight to look similar and we will do a border all around the back panels and front panels making one single row in single crochet because we will join the parts using single crochet stitch so we are not uh, making any uh, uh, seam and it looks nicer if you have um, if you have a contrasting color for this so this is how we get the effect on the um, those uh, seams that are pretty visible so we are starting to do again uh, because I just finished to make this uh, uh, border this row with the back panel and one front panel and now I will continue with my second front panel to show you just how to make this uh, border especially on the side rows because uh, there is a bit of a problem because maybe um, you will find it difficult to know where to make and in how many stitches to make the single crochet so I'm starting here in middle of one side it doesn't matter because we will work in round and we will stop here as well and I'm doing one single crochet in each stitch until we will get in the corner and then we will see how to place the stitches on the side rows okay so here on the side rows we are basically doing one a two single crochet on each half double crochet side row if you think that you have too many stitches so we don't want the work to uh, start curling you can skip some stitches not making maybe to do two single crochet in the first side row then in the next one make only one or try uh, using a smaller hook uh, instead of 4.5 use a four millimeter crochet hook this might work uh, also and we will continue to do this uh, border all around the um, front panels and back panel as well okay now I'm done with uh, this edging I put a stitch marker here in one side because uh, this will be the armhole I have 30 stitches here so count 30 stitches from this corner and put a stitch marker to know um, where you will have to stop with uh, uh, connections of the front panel with the back panel but first let's just work the shoulders here 
and this will be very easy because now we are working only a single crochet also with the contrasting yarn and this basically will be the wrong side of our cardigan but if you want you can use it as a, a right side as well if you like it this uh, uh, joining seem to be more visible why not so now one single crochet into each stitch but make sure that you insert your hook through both loops both sides also front panel and back panel okay and we are doing this skipping the sleeves stitches so just make the shoulders now and then on the side here is how it's looking after uh, making the join so this is uh, the side and now we will start to work the edge the brim this is the hem edge will be the same on the collar and the front panel sides and also on the sleeves we are working on the um, wrong side starting on the wrong side and just make one slip stitch into each stitch along i made this uh, border with uh, slip stitches only in the back loop but if you want you can choose another edge for your cardigan it's up to you at the end of the row just chain one and turn and now continue with slip stitches only in the back loop for the border i'm using a smaller crochet hook a four millimeter crochet hook for all the borders on the hem on the neckline and uh, front panels and at the sleeves and we will continue like this with rows with slip stitches in the back loop only for 16 rows or until you have uh, almost 5 centimeters. Here is my hem uh, border. I will do the same on the, um, on the front panels and the neckline and on the sleeves. I will show you right away how to work on the sleeves because we will work in continuous rounds so we will connect the rounds uh, make a connection after each round a slip stitch but we will work on the wrong and right side so turn after each uh, row just to have the same look of the stitch then when working on the front panel you will have to make in this brim here that we already have you have to do one slip stitch but just in the um, uh, one in one side row then skip one because otherwise it will be too wide okay let's see the sleeves this is the only thing that is different on the uh, neckline and front panels uh, edge because the other uh, thing is the same as the hem just have to do one uh, slip stitches in the back loop only for 16 rows now we are starting to do the sleeves because it's a bit different working in rounds the first row will be the same with one uh, slip stitch in each stitch start working the same on the wrong side And then when we will get at the end of the row we will just uh, make a slip stitch to connect the end of the row with the beginning and then chain one and turn so working on the wrong and right side as well because we have want to have the same look as for the hem and uh, the other edges I still have a few stitches here, two more stitches to the end. So slip stitch and then connect with the chain one with a slip stitch. 
Now chain one and turn. And now we will start to work in the back loop only. So look over the loops uh, just in blue color. Don't take into consideration the one in brown color, okay? So here. Here is the back loop, yeah? So we have this V, so here is the back loop in which we will have to insert the hook and make our stitches. I don't know why I yarned over because we don't need it. We are doing also slip stitches. Okay, so slip stitch in the back loop only. With these slip stitches in the back loop only, you will see that it's basically a super easy stitch. Only the few first and second round, I think it's a... Uh, pretty difficult but then it's working pretty fast so you don't have to worry about it but as i said you can use another stitch for your uh, for your brim if you want it's not mandatory to use this one and we will continue like this working in rounds for 16 rows as well the same number of rows as we did it on the hem and on the collar. When making the join, you'll do the join with this uh, chain one, and then uh, you'll do the next stitch just in the back loop, the slip stitch. And you'll continue like this for 16 rows or as many rows as uh, you want. Basically with this uh, brim the cardigan is done. But we will add some uh, pockets to it to be more interesting and useful as well. I made the pockets with 30 stitches and 18 rows. And then on one side, I added the same brim as I did uh, with the sleeves and uh, uh, rest of the cardigan, but only 10 rows, I think, in slip stitches. And then I put it uh, with safety pins. I, um, I made the same uh, to fix it on the cardigan to be more uh, easy to sew it. So yeah, 30 stitches and 18 rows. If you want bigger pockets or smaller pockets, you can uh, make them uh, smaller or bigger. And you, when you place the pocket, you just place it to the bottom, just uh, next to the hem brim. And then because I have 38 rows, in total for the front panel I just let 10 and 10 rows to the edges okay and now we will start sewing I will show you how I'm doing this but uh, it's up to you just do it as you want and whatever it's uh, more easier for you to do it it's bad. It's a good thing. The only thing that we need is that uh, we have those. <coughs> Sorry, to have these uh, pockets uh, sewed on the cardigan. You notice my stickers that uh, my daughter put it because I was uh, a good mommy today. I forgot about it. Okay, so now we are sewing the pocket. I'm insert my, inserting my needle on uh, through two loops, two stitches or one stitch on the pocket and then one stitch on the um, cardigan. 
just to have an invisible invisible seam i really like doing this because you cannot figure out if the pockets are sealed or are uh, worked with the cardigan um, one once with the cardigan so after seeing the pocket everything it's done uh, you don't need to do anything to the cardigan maybe block it if you need it and this is uh, this is it I really hope you will enjoy this tutorial and you will make this cardigan because it's super easy to make any beginner can do it if you want to have a closer fit for it because it's super oversized only the back panel measures like uh, 73 I think centimeters width which is long way too much uh, over the the boost width or the cross back width but take into consideration that this width also includes uh, the length length of the sleeves so i i like the this shape and i like that it is uh, super comfortable and easy to wear with almost everything it's so for springtime because uh, now we will start uh, layering our clothes so i hope you'll enjoy it